What's up guys, Max is here with Triata Custom Engraving. I had to make a run to uh, Home Depot, so I figured uh, I'd make this video for you guys. How to get started as a uh, engraver. Go around and show you uh, things that I've uh, used in the past and what I like the best. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what I started with was the uh, Dremel 3000. Um, I like it, it's awesome. Uh, what I currently use right now is a uh, Dremel 4000, which they don't have that here. I have a few 3000s in here. This is an awesome kit if you want to get started. Um, definitely recommend getting a uh, flex shaft. One of these uh, Dremel chucks, this multi chuck. Uh, this way you can put different burrs nice and quickly. Because if you have one of these pallet kits, sometimes it could be a pain to uh, take the bit uh, in and out. Using this chuck will be a lot easier. So, what I'll probably do is uh, swing by Lowe's and hopefully they have a kit that I uh, wanted to show you guys. All right guys, so uh, Home Depot did not really have anything that I wanted to look at. Uh, I did have the uh, Dremel 3000, which is what I started with. Um, and then uh, Flex Shaft and the, uh, your, your Multi-Chuck. Uh, those are the things that you, uh, you can start with. The Dremel 4000, that's what I have right now. And unfortunately, did not have it in stock. So uh, I am at Lowe's uh, parking lot. So hopefully they'll have it in stock there so I can show you. Hey, while we're at uh, Lowe's, what do you guys think of these uh, new uh, Yeti colors? Let me know what you think. I like this one right here. It's pretty good. Looks real nice. All right, let's go look at the uh, Dremel stuff real quick. So here's the uh, 3000 and Dremel 4000, which is like what I currently use. Flex shaft. The Sony 103, this is probably one of the best diamond burrs you can get. There you go, guys. This is the best kit to have if you want to start out. It's got everything you want. Stone burrs, um, steel burrs, and includes this, um, this diamond point burr. This is $14.98. This burr by itself costs $10.48. It's a real good deal right here. So if you're looking to get started, I uh, definitely recommend one of those. Here you go, guys. Your chuck. Get this chuck. It will save you a lot of time switching in and out with burrs and bits. All right, guys. So I'm done uh, walking around Lowe's. Uh, as you saw in the video, the 11-piece uh, uh, engraving kit is probably going to be your best deal if you want to get started, along with the flex shaft, uh, your multi-chuck, and uh, Dremel 3000 or 4000, both are good choices. But that 11 piece kit, that's a, definitely a recommended if you wanna get started and just try different mediums. Uh, you can use the stone on your glass. So you can literally go and engrave your uh, wine glass, whatever it is. That's what I've done in the past. I just try different things. The 7103 uh, diamond burr, uh, you can use that on cups. Uh, that's what I started with. Uh, I like using uh, diamond burrs. Just the way it looks. It just gives you that scratched look. And uh, it shines out in the sun like crazy. I love it. So I'm going to go home. And I'm going to show you guys everything that I have. And uh, compare to what the store has. And show you how it all comes uh, together into one thing and uh, how to use it. Here's what a typical uh, Dremel 3000 kit will come with. 
Uh, you'll have a collet on here. I got a few over time collecting uh, from all various kits that I've bought. Uh, this kit in particular came with a bunch of sanding discs. Um, this one is a metal cutoff disc, which is real nice. I don't think this kit came with this, but this is real good for cleaning up metal. Uh, here's another one, stainless steel, uh, clean up uh, whatever you want to use to polish. Uh, polishing compound. So this normally comes with this kit and uh, it's pretty good. Each kit comes with a key like this. Basically what this key is for is uh, these collets. Uh, you use your brake button so this way the Dremel doesn't uh, spin around while you're trying to take this off. So I have a bit right now in it. Take it off. It's basically twisting off like this and it comes out pretty easy. Then you'll go in, use this little uh, tool to tighten it up. So the Dremel 3000, it has a variable speed. Uh, let me plug it in. So the variable speed goes to uh, several settings. You can go slow or fast. Each Dremel has like a hook, like this. Here's my uh, Dremel 4000, has the same hook. If you're using your Dremel with a uh, flex shaft, so here's the flex shaft that I was talking about. So the flex shaft makes it uh, a lot easier to hold it and it's just a lot better than trying to hold a whole Dremel to engrave something or carve something out, you know. There's a, a lot in your hand right here. So definitely recommend getting the flex shaft because this is essentially like holding a uh, pen in your hand. It's real nice. So this also takes collets. You can take collet like this, put it on. Uh, each uh, flex shaft has a button right here. Same thing as uh, this right here. You basically lock it in. Put your collet on there. Put your bit. And then you use your tool to uh, tighten it down. Or like I was saying in the store, you can buy yourself a uh, multi-chuck. So let's take that off. So the multi-chuck, you can put any uh, size burr inside this. And it works pretty easy. Once you uh, put it in, it will start tightening up. Let's put this burr in there. That's it. And then if you have a bigger size burr, you can go all the way out. Nice. All right, so once, once you have your flex shaft out and you want to connect it, Make sure the core is uh, back inside. So just like that. I have my uh, Dremel uh, 4000 uh, rigged up at all times. So, so what the uh, flex chef comes with, a little piece right here, we'll count it like this. It has like a little square for the uh, core of this flex shaft. It's also square. So once you put that on, take one of these caps off on the end you take these off you don't need this and you put this on and basically line up your flex shaft and that's it this uh, uh, Dremel 4000 for example when you turn it on it will start spinning here and you can use it like a pen so like I was saying these clips come in handy for hanging uh, your Dremels down 
and I will show you that next. Okay, so here's what I've uh, what I've done. I just basically ran a structure pipe from uh, one of my studs and uh, connected them with uh, one of these uh, connectors here. Uh, this works, keeps it elevated. Uh, the reason why I want this elevated is because the flex shaft inside, like if you keep it kinked up like this, chances are this will overheat and it will break on you, it can snap. So keep it nice and straight and uh, it will work great. Flex shaft tends to get a little bit, I guess, hot in the handle over time. I haven't had any issues with mine. Um, but it does have a little bit of vibrations, just so you know. Dremels overall are a little bit loud. It's bearable, so I would definitely recommend using some kind of hearing protection. Also, uh, I remember the 11 uh, piece uh, Dremel kit that I was talking about. So it comes like this with this box. Don't throw the box away. These, uh, these boxes are pretty handy. Uh, they come with uh, these uh, plastic uh, dividers, so essentially you have a free uh, mini toolbox. Then you can use it for whatever you want. Bam! Alright guys, hopefully you like my little adventure at Home Depot and Lowe's. And uh, hopefully I gave you an idea of what you want to buy for yourself. Uh, like I said, uh, Dremel 3000 and 4000 with the flex shaft uh, will get any of your jobs done. If it's a cup engraving, a wood carving, or whatever it might be, I think it's a great option for you. So uh, if you like this video, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.